Coventry Stakes next for two year olds in the place of my birth, Coventry, and I say that every year. I'm sure, people are getting extremely bored of me saying the same things every year by now. And at the top, we got Nutting in Thrall for Vinnie Gerald. That's the 11 to 4 favourite in the wacky world of SO7 bookmaking. Will it be the 11 to 4 favourite at the end? I seriously doubt it. As we look down the field, we can see quite a few of these have won already. And Royal Castle for Jim Murray has won the last two times. So you'd think that one would be in with a bit of a squeak. We shall see. As we wait for them to charge down the Ascot straight. And you can see that this year, social distancing and everything, no dress code at Royal Ascot. And away they go. And a little bit slow to go was Royal Castle, but I'm sure he'll make up for it later on. Jeans Holy. Right over on the far side, got out quite nicely, and now look at that raw castle, slow out, and now two lengths clear. So, what about that then? Got over to the fence, and now he's four or five lengths clear, so you don't necessarily need to jump out of the gate particularly quickly, do you? If you've got a bit of pace that you can get in for leading, he's suddenly gone six lengths clear. So, is he the only one in the field who's been given the go into the lead signal or whatever it is that you can do? Telling them what to do. Anyway, it's Royal Castle who's in the lead. Master of Swords is chasing Witchery Telegraph. He's going well. Jeans Holly up the centre of the track is also going particularly well. Fine Wine is at the back. And really, I think Fine Wine should be at the lead because Fine Wine is much better than most things. And most Master of Swords has now taken it up. Master of Swords is in the lead with a furlong and a half to go. And Master of Swords for Joshua Sutherland leads. Jim Murray's in second. Paul Rose in third. Darren Thompson fourth. And then racing there towards the final half furlong. And right over on the far side, it's going to be Quellon who's burst into the lead. And Quellon is now being pressed by Passive Fire and all bursting through his nunching enthrall. And it's close on the line. And nunching enthrall might have got up with one of those Vinnie Gerrard spurt, but the grey Quellon may have just held on. Hmm. Interesting. Quellon for Darren Thompson, the winner. Nunching enthrall for Vinnie Gerrard. Second, passive five for Craig Allen. Third, Master of Swords, Michael Scala. Big run there for a smaller stable. Well done, Michael Scala. And Graceland for Ryan Tamasemi. What's fifth? <laughs>